Welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Let's talk about Dimitri Payet mm. now. Mm. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, he says he told West Ham he wasn't going to play for them again. I wanted to go back home. Mm. And he's got his wish now. He's been unveiled as, a, as an Olympic Marseille player. Austin, uh, I mean, this one caused a lot of controversy. I know. Uh, you can understand why as a professional, mm. you're supposed to turn up and play. Yeah. You're getting paid to play, that's so you can't down tools. Uh -huh. But that's exactly what he did because he mm. felt he had to do that to get his move. And he's got his move now. He's gone back home as an Olympic Marcel player. Okay. Dimitri Payet. For me, I know. I'm not too... Same year. I'm not too... You struggle um, for the words, right? Yeah. I mean, the show of character yeah. was poor. Yes, yeah. I, I agree. Yes. It's difficult, you know, but because you're supposed to be a professional. You're a role model. Yes. Kids are watching, you know. And um, if you treat West yes. Ham like this, who says you can't do West to Marseille again? Yeah, it is a bit tricky. The, yeah. why, the reason I say that is because, okay, uh, you know, we, players have different reasons for wanting to move. Okay. This is very personal. His family not enjoying life in London, according to reports. Mm. He wanted to go back home. Mm. There was a bid from Olympic Marseille. Uh, West Ham, from, according from to From London to Paris by train is that a long time? <laughs> uh, Austin, I don't know. This, this is, you know, I agree for this moment. I can't be silly. I agree. He doesn't have any excuse. Like, this is Europe. You know, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Seamless transportation and all that. But they wanted to go, he wants to go back home. Mm. His family a lot mm. more comfortable in France. Mm. Uh, there was a bid. West Ham felt, okay, that doesn't match the evaluation of the player. Yeah. And that's where everything just went right. That's where everything went, you know, uh, bad. Because um, mm -hmm. Dimitri Payet felt was being, um, was being priced out of a move. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, they bought him for about £10 million. Pounds yeah. And, and uh, Olympic Marcel came with something a lot higher. And but West Ham felt um, that money is not good enough. But eventually, it's good to see that the deal has been done. Mm. Now, eventually, they agreed on £25 million. Pounds. Pounds. So that's £15 million pounds profit yeah. made by West Ham. That's right. I think it's a win-win situation. Everyone can just go uh, happy now. Uh, uh, Dimitri Pye can uh, go yeah. be happy in France. Uh, okay. West Ham yeah. can pocket the money. They pocket the money. And use it to buy and, a replacement. And the damage <laughs> he has done to the reputation of the club. You don't put your, you yeah. don't put a club in a bad light. Tell what about the foul languages that we're seeing on social media? Mm. What about the obstinacy show to his manager Slavon Bilic mm. is the leader he should be able to talk to you what about the other guys that are looking up to Payet and the team I totally agree with you know you, you don't leave not... a club like that will he do that to Alex Ferguson Austin. will he do that to Jose Mourinho I'm not... will he do that to Carlo Ancelotti I mean players do all uh, sorts man you never there are some players there are some coaches they... that you do this with it's end of your career nah, they are so connected with yeah. the transfer market tire that he will be going to Nice. Austin. Nice. Austin, remember, uh, first and foremost is the business, okay? okay. And you, you can talk about Nice, you can talk about okay. end of career. Uh, At the end of the day, West Ham or any other club out there, they need to make money. Mm. And if they have to sell okay. uh, a player that has been uh, very difficult, mm. then so be it. Yes, and that's exactly what has happened. Don't keep an aggrieved player. Don't do that. But, yeah, but yes. some way, somehow, someday, West Ham gets into the Champions League. I'm wishing Paye well now. Yeah. And uh, Marseille gets into it. And he comes to the Olympic Stadium to play. I want to end this talk about Paye. Uh, let's quote what the West Ham co okay. David Sullivan said. He said he accused the player of lacking respect. That's spot on. I mean, when you refuse to train, when you refuse to want to play for a club that is okay. paying your wages, okay. then that's the total lack of respect. And I'm not, I'm not condoning that at yes. all, Austin. I, I, I totally get mm. that. It's, that's not in doubt. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm saying is it's good now that both clubs have agreed uh, to move on. At every, level, to move on. Yeah. at every level of success, Tyler, let's put a wrap to this. Character. It's good very character important. is very, very important. It, it went about it the wrong way. There's well, no doubt about it, Austin. It. Let's that's move on now. Yeah, we'll move on. Dimitri Pye. Let's <laughs> move on, please. Drop this Pye story. Bring you into the show. Sports this morning on Channels Television, wherever you are in the world watching us. We invite you to be part of the program. Yes, it's not just about Pye, but we must talk about it. Transfer deadline, they right in our face. The silliest of movements today, we shall see. Talk to us on Twitter, our channels on the because sports Facebook channels are in sports. You can send us an email to sports this morning at channelstv.com. We love talking sports right here. We call it the Sports Center. Talk to us in the hashtag. This morning, we will not keep quiet on our own football, the Nigeria Professional Football League. What a story we are having. After match day five, guess the team that is still unbeaten. It's play two United. Do you know who the coach is? Kennedy Boboi. What is he doing that when he gets into a club, the first 10 games, 
they will be admirable. We want to know this morning on the program. Walk with us. Hashtag MPFL. Hashtag Super Bowl. Tayo told you Super Bowl 51. We're getting ready. Pressure on Tom Brady. Can he deliver with his team? We'll continue to monitor that situation right here on the program. You want to talk about Dimitri Pai. Let's, let's, let's have your input. Did he treat West Ham the right way? Is it a win-win situation for um, Pai and West Ham? It's a sporting discussion. Let's have it right here on the program. Basketball in Nigeria. After the AGM in Abuja, the Nigeria Basketball Federation they disclosed that they are going to be having 12 million US dollars. I started trying to get that one right. 12 million US dollars in five years. And the president, Tijani Umar, says every year, 2.1 million dollars will be put into the MBBF to make basketball in Nigeria admirable. We love it. But we've said there must be credibility to this deal and accountability. We're monitoring all that is happening right there. 2017 AFCON. Talk to the hashtag AFCON. It's Burkina Faso taking on Egypt and West African clash between Cameroon and Ghana. What a story we're having at the AFCON.